This is Dave and Kim Panazzo. Uh, no. We're with Dave Pratt today. This is going to be an incredible interview, so let's jump right in. He's trying so hard to be the disc jockey guy, okay? Well, let's get into the serious side of Dave Pratt. Um, oh, no, I never do this. <laughs> With Dave Pratt, the morning mayor, and couldn't be more excited to do this, and we really thank you for So coming. awesome. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Good to be here. You know, when, when we first moved out here in the mid-90s, you were my buddy in the morning, okay, <laughs> on my drive into work. I knew we were close. This right. is great. And it's really cool to be sitting here talking to you because we're kind of looking at the valley and where it's been and where yeah. it's going, and my God, I, I, I remember when we first moved out here, we didn't even have some freeways here. <laughs> right. I mean, what, yeah. it's, it's been nuts with the growth. And I know with you being on radio and now transitioning into what you're doing, what? tell me a little bit about well, life after radio. I mean, Dave and Kim, and thank you for having me on the show. It, let's start off with you guys in the mid 90s. It's so much different. So uh, just recently I watched a little bit of the Academy Awards and Queen, was the big topic, and Freddie Mercury, all right? So it was 92 when Wayne's World came out and they were making fun of Queen. Why do I bring this up? Because today, with new technology, a high majority of people, 30 years old and younger, can't even name a Queen song until Bohemian Rhapsody came out as a movie. All that is brand new to them. And the reason I bring that up is new technology. 30 and under, they were raised on this stuff. Everything is in the palm of their hand. This is what they're raised on. So if you take a good majority of people, again, under 30 years old, they can't even name a radio station in their market. They can't name a radio personality in their market. It's different with the new generation. They don't have a radio station. Most of them can't name a radio station, a personality. They have this. But uh, that's, that's how technology's changed everything on both sides. And for you guys, I mean, even giving tours of homes or with your clients, you can quickly call and say, hey, take a quick tour of this home, and then you can follow up with them. It's a different world today. I mean, there's apps where you can literally park in front of the house, take a picture of the house. It'll automatically tell you exactly what's <laughs> yeah. going on. What the hell? Yeah, technology's changed so much, and I really can't think of many businesses that it hasn't made a huge impact. And that's yes. why Netflix is so big. Think about that. I know. But that's so true, you guys. There's right. no more sports authority shopping malls. I, I think Fashion Square might be one of the few that's It'll still stay. successful. It'll yeah. stay. We, we right? contribute often. So do we. We're in Fashion yeah. Square, pretty much. OK? So get this. I was on a, a local television station doing my show, Day Pratt Live. And I loved it. And the local television station I was on, the nicest people in the world. But I actually came off that television station by choice so that my show could grow because the internet is a bigger world than any local television station. So when I was on a local television station, the content was restricted to be put online because it would hurt their ratings. So if you can watch me online, you don't have to watch a television station for ratings. So I couldn't put my show online. The minute I came off local television, put it online, we quadrupled like overnight. And that's really where technology's gone. And I think that's why we love the, the, the show that we're on, The American Dream, because it's, it's putting it out there. I mean, it's innovative as well, being on Apple TV, Roku, yeah. like that's where people are going the now, streaming. the live streaming. Good for you guys, because you realize that for your potential customers and for your viewers, that courtesy is letting them watch your show when they want to watch it on demand. Now the audience is in control. They can listen whenever they want. This has been a great time. Flashing really, back. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we flashed back. We went to the future. And you know, it's just the way that business is done today. And uh, these are exciting times for old guys like us, right? Uh, I'm older than you, man. I was telling Dave before we came on, I said, why do you look so good? What's the deal? He goes, I work at it, man. You're in shape. Come on. Come on. Well, once again, thank you, thank you. And back to you.